tamed rhinogatas can't be mated, they can't be mutated and turned into OP super dinos. Well, I was wrong. Even though we can't make them and breed them and then mutate them, we can still get OP super rhinogatas. Now let's see how that is done. These T-Rexes are level 1500. I know on official servers there is a level cap on dinos, but if you remove the useless stats on these Rex, then we will get around 400 level Rex, which on official servers that is obtainable levels. So to get a super OP Rhinogata, we need a super breeded host that has a almost max out stats. It can be a Bronto, it can be a Racer, it can be a Stego. I think because we need max health and max melee damage on the Rhinogatas, using a T-Rex would be really ideal. Now this Rhinogata has 25 into HP, 29 into melee. Unfortunately only one of them got impregnated so I have to spawn another. Now we have two Rexes impregnated by 150 Rhinogata. They have around 20 to 30 stat points on pretty much everything. So how this works? The host dino acts as if it was a parent in the mating process. The baby will get one of the stats of its parents just like normal breeding but host size quality and craving satisfaction plays a great role in this so i'm gonna keep one of the rexes to zero percent at craving satisfaction and for the other one i'm gonna give everything it wants so i'm gonna make it 100 percent craving satisfaction and the final feed for the cravings now it is at 100 percent all size quality is 78 because this is a rex now in few minutes we will see the stats of the baby now we have a 700 level rhinogata let's see the stats we got the 25 points from the wild rhinogata and we got 144 melee that is not a wild stat we got this from the super breeded rex it was more than 144 but i think that's because of the host quality if you use a bronto or giga or anything that is as large as that then we will get that stat now let's see this one as you can see this one doesn't have anything close to 100 because we didn't feed any of its cravings it is still on some of the stats are stronger than the wild rhinogata the cravings are playing a huge role in this and now the bronto is pregnant and it has whole size quality 100 percent now i'm gonna feed all of its cravings and let's see what is gonna come out by the way i like to say this one more time you can get a Bronto like this on official settings it can't be level 1500 but you can get this HP stat you can also get another 200 to a stat which that is melee damage but no one breathes Brontos for melee damage so that's why a T-Rex with the current settings on official would be very ideal for this all right it's coming out and this one managed to get the melee, weight, and the stamina. The level is at the half, but that is not the mechanic of this creature. It's the mechanic of the game. The babies will always get female side or the stat from the male side. So this is the same. This one got HP from the wild Rhinogata, but got the melee stat points of the Bronto. With 100% host quality and 100% craving satisfaction, we got the perfect exact stat points the bronto had 219 points into melee and we got exactly that so if that gets lowered the original stats also gets lowered as well it can still get the wild rhinogata stat points if that happens you're gonna have to do the process again this is a level one rhinogata with zero stat points to everything now that changed something the egg quality dropped to 25 percent i didn't know what was that now we know the higher the rhinogata's level the more egg quality we're gonna get that will probably lower our stat points we'll see 
and that was pretty bad the stats are lowered because of the eggs quality to extremes now we got 0 0.2 hp that is from the wild one and 0 0.2 weight that's also from the wild one and we don't get any movement speed now we had more than 200 melee stat points and that's lower to 61 this is because of the egg quality so egg quality has to be 100 percent as well another one about to pop off with 100 percent craving 100 percent host size quality and 100 percent egg quality there we go we got almost 1200 level rhino gata let's take a look at this hp without imprinting bonus without adding any levels this rhino gata with 242 points into hp and 230 points into melee and that makes 1400 melee damage now for official you can get a thousand level dino but remove the oxygen remove the food and remove that weight you have an officially usable super op rhino gata all right it's grown with 100 percent imprinting look at that hp 70 000 hp without adding any levels let's do that too we can add 88 levels now and let's put all of that into hp this is unbelievable 400 000 hp this is official settings this is official settings this can be done with official settings what is this look at that now i haven't add any points to melee damage but let's see how much we're gonna do now look at that I am doing 1000 damage. I did say that this is not a proper soaker, but when you consider you have 400,000 HP, this is a soaker now. This is a great soaker. Now that we see fully leveled HP version, we have to see the leveled melee version, right? Now we're getting another, uh, hopefully, with the melee damage all right this one has 224 hp and 236 melee damage all right the new rhiny agnata is ready fully imprinted so let's level up the melee and see the damage 4500 melee damage let me say this again 4500 this is not boosted this is officially obtainable stat points 236 melee points let's do some damage now let me try the projectiles now i'll start with the rocket Looks like that is a normal damage. Let's see the bomb. Bomb barely does any damage as well. Let's see the needles. And that is also pretty normal. So the melee damage only affects the normal attack properly. And that's just insanely broken now this is called the sky giga so let's fight a level 150 wild giga i have a cap saddle but i haven't increased my hp so it's on level 65 000 hp let's kill the giga yes this can kill the wild giga quite easily and we are basically do not take any damage The Wild Giga also has lots of HP, but we are out damaging it by far. The Giga is about to go down. And this was quite easy. But it was a wild level 150. Let's try something we can see on official settings. And now a Giga with almost cap melee damage. This one has 1800 melee. But on official I think you can reach 2000 melee damage. So I'm just gonna unclaim this. And we will have a fight with this one. My Rhiny Agnata is at a little bit advantaged. Because I'll be having the imprint bonus. I also gave this a cap giga saddle this should give us a good idea about how powerful the sky giga is let's fight 
I am doing 500 damage because the saddle makes a good difference and I am taking 1500 damage but the Giga has 26,000 HP and my Sky Giga has 65,000 HP let's activate the resin saddle and decrease that 1000 damage the Giga already raged and I am taking 900 damage now I can tank the Giga pretty well, I can also attack with my range attacks. It doesn't do any damage though. Range attacks doesn't really scale with the melee damage, so we're gonna have to use our melee attack. We can take the damage, also we can just move around the Giga because we can fly. Rhyniagata can range the Giga pretty well. There you go, the Giga is gone. And I didn't even lose half of my HP. So, two super bread, Giga and Sikai Giga. The winner is clear. They were right to call this giant bug a Sky Giga because it is far stronger than the Giga. It can carry pretty much everything. It can reach 400,000 HP. It can get thousands of melee damage. And on top of that, we don't have to breed this for months. We don't have to spend at least a year on official servers to get these stats. All you need is a already bred good dino. Then you can get something like this easily. Alright, thank you for watching dear watchers and see you on the next video